reading students, in this presentation, we'll be focusing on the legend of pirate coffrecy. Keep in mind that legends may have parts that were true and others that were exaggerated or made up. Also, legends may change over time, resulting in different versions of the same tale, so you might want to read as many as possible. Here are some fun facts about Pirate Coffrecy. Somehow, his real last name, Coffrecin, became Coffrecy since it was easier to pronounce for Spanish speakers. Because of his European heritage, he was taller than the average Puerto Rican and had blonde hair with matching light-colored eyes. Many considered him to be the last and greatest pirate of the Caribbean, even though he was born after the golden age of piracy. There are monuments, exploration sites, hotels, and even restaurants named after him in places such as Cabo Rojo and Rincón. And now, a reading of the Pirate Coffrecy. According to popular legend, Pirate Coffrecy was the Robin Hood of Puerto Rico. Roberto Coffrecin Ramirez D'Arellano was born on June 12 and baptized on June 27, 1791 in the small seaside town of Cabo Rojo. Coffrecy was a product of his time, an era when the Spanish colonies of the New World were demanding independence from Spain. As an adolescent, Coffrecy set out to change Spain's political policies toward his island of Borinquen. From a very young age, Coffrecy enjoyed taking his little boat out to listen to the tales of the old mariners. According to historical documents, in early years before becoming a pirate, Coffrecy may have fished and transported vegetables in his small boat to sell them in his hometown. He later became a corsair, officially licensed to bring in foreign ships whose papers were not in order. We can only wonder how Coffrecy was influenced while out at sea, watching the big ships carrying gold, jewels, and other Caribbean treasures to Spain, England, and others far off. By 1818, Coffrecy and his crew of 15 men were engaged in piracy, stealing treasure from wealthy ships carrying riches to and from the Caribbean. In those days, goods were scarce from the common people and Coffrecy shared his booty with the poor. The people respected his bravery and protected him. Over the next several years, Coffrecy terrorized European and American ships, including the plundering of the Spanish San Jose y las Animas in 1824. It is said that he may have also aided Puerto Rico's rebellion movement against Spain by transporting arms from South America. By 1824, the Spanish governor of Puerto Rico had enough of Cofresi's popularity and called the American Navy to help capture Cofresi. Disguised as a commercial frigate, the fully armed American Navy warship USS Grampus put itself up as bait and awaited an attack from the few pirates. In the battle that followed, Coffrecy's ship, the Anna, was badly damaged and many of his crew killed, but his ship managed to escape. On land, the awaiting Spanish royal army engaged Coffrecy in another bloody battle and captured the now injured Coffrecy and his ten remaining men. Coffrecy and his men were taken to the main Spanish fort, San Felipe del Morro, which still stands in Old San Juan. They were tried by a Spanish court. Coffrecy was executed at the age of 24 on March 27, 1825. Now that you've read the story, here are some tips that may help you comprehend it. Make connections or relate to the story. Read or talk about the story with others. Search for words that you do not know. Read more about the story's background. Use your senses. Imagine what you read. Additionally, Look for the author's purpose. Authors write to inform, provide the reader with information, describe, appeal to the reader's senses, persuade, convince the reader of something, or narrate, tell a fictional or not fictional story. Go back. What would you consider Cofresi, an evil pirate or a freedom fighter? a cutthroat criminal or a class hero, remember that there are positive and negative character traits. Here are some articles you can read if you want to learn more about Pirate Coffrecy. That was all for now. Thanks for watching.